Right, I hope that you've learned a ton by doing this application. So now what we're going to do is to take whatever we've built together and you are going to create your very first portfolio. So this is when you can showcase it to employers, right? When you start applying for jobs, this is where you will have all of the projects that you do, you should store them where I'm about to show you. It's a very popular way of people showcasing their work. And this is so important to you to give you that boost that you need. So I think you deserve it. Let's go ahead and create the portfolio together. All right, for building our portfolio, we're gonna be using this website called github.com. And basically this is a website for developers where you can work in collaboration with other developers and you can store all of your code in this website. So go ahead and create an account. And once you have an account, you'll have something like this. So in here, I've got a list of projects. So on the left hand side, and these are called repositories, right? So for you, you might have zero, but let's go ahead and create your first portfolio. So go ahead and create a new repository. And then here, the owner, this will be your name. And then for repository name, I'm going to say Python and then dash Intuit quick and then books project. So this could be something shorter for you. Uh, but for now, this will be my name. And then also what I want is this repository to be public. So anyone on the internet can access this repository. So tick public and then add a readme in here. So I'm going to show you this in a second. Go ahead and create repository. And there we go. So this is our repository. So it might look like this. So now what we're going to do is let's add our Python files and images and everything that we have to add. So here, add file, upload files. And then we can take all of these files, right? And then just put it inside. So four files. We have the CV. So this is the actual CV. Um, this might be optional. And then we have the Python file that contains the source code and then my picture and then requirements.txt. So now I'm going to commit the changes in here, right? So you can see the files are here and I'm going to say commit the changes. All right. So that's done. And now you can see that we have a couple of files. You can see that we have our CV. This is the picture and this is the, and this is the Python code. So if I click on it, you can see that if I zoom in, you can see that this is our Python code, right? So remember we, we wrote all of this together, right? So this is now um, a place where you can showcase your work. So now let me actually um, go back a little bit or zoom out a little bit and click on the project. And here, what we're going to do is the following. Click on this pencil. And we're going to change this a little bit. So this will be, so let me just remove the dashes. There we go. And what I want you to do is to open up an issue. So click on issue. So I'm going to press command and then uh, a new tab, or you can right click open link in a new tab. And then here, new issue. And what I've done, I went ahead and have a screenshot of the actual CV here. So let's take this picture and then put it inside of this comment. And all we want is just this link right here. Copy that, close this. And now here, paste that in. And also we want to have some description. So here we're going to say, um, pound sign twice and then installation and then here add back ticks. Let me just zoom this so you can see everything. So back ticks and then Python in 
install dash r requirements dot txt remember this is how we install the dependencies listed inside of this file so here let's say run and there we go so now if i zoom out a little bit and then scroll down let's commit the changes and now check this out so python into quickbooks project installation run and then this is the command and then this is our cv so there you have it so this is really really nice so this is your portfolio now you can see that this is amigos code forward slash and then the project name so you can take this so if i click here actually so you can take this link and then share with someone right whether you are applying for jobs or just showing to your friends or you can send your username so your github username so if i click on mine amigos code so this is the list of all the projects that i have right and if i go to repositories you can see that the one that we've just created python into quickbooks project there you have it you now have a portfolio well then right it was a pleasure teaching you about python you've come a long way and i can tell you that this is just the beginning for you so the next step for you is to check out my other course on python where i go in much more detail about some of the more interesting things that this language has to offer also if you're not part of the amigos code community go ahead and join join both the private facebook group as well as discord i would love to have you there so you can share your experience with other people finally what i'm going to do for you is in december i'm going to have a q a where you get to ask me any question that you want so go ahead and fill the google form on the link down below and i will let you know when the q a will take place it was a pleasure teaching you and I can't wait to see how far you go in this journey. Assalamu alaikum.